Today is the day that we are finally going to my childhood hometown of Bacolod, Philippines. It's been 15 years since I was last there and it will be Nicole's very first time visiting. The good news is that Bacolod is just 100 miles from where we are right now in Boracay. The bad news is that it's on an entirely different island, two islands away from here. So we are going to be taking a series of tricycles, buses and boats to get there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Here we go again. I think that's us. This is a little bit too easy. I expect some sort of road breakdown or boat breakdown to happen at some point. Turns out watching rural Philippines go by is actually pretty fun. Unless you're this guy. Thank you. Okay, boat number two of this day. I was like a teenager. Before that, I was like six years old when I left here. Crazy. That is the end of a very long travel day. See you tomorrow. All right, guys, so we decided that the best way to explore Bacola today is to get ourselves a scooter. You all know we love a good scooter. So, we're back on the road. What's your first impression, baby? You like it? I like it. I like it. It's so green and lush and so, so humid. Like, of course, we are really, really close to the water, to the ocean here again. But man, is she humid. So far, I, you know, Bacolux is like, uh, some ways smaller than I remember and some ways bigger than I remember. Yeah. Like, there's not as many, like, tall buildings as I thought there would be. Because That's I was actually, expecting it to be, like, yeah. a really big city. But it yeah. seems like a very, more of like a very homey town. Maybe it's because like you were small when you were here, you know? You know like if you go back and revisit your elementary school, like it seems so big when you were there. And you revisit, I was like, even a teenager, I remember doing that and being like, this school is so small. Like yeah. everything is so small here. Maybe that's kind of like what it's like here, maybe, you know? You yeah, like maybe. At six when you were like living here. So far. So Nicole and I are just stopped at the immigration office here in Bacola because we tried to get our visas extended when we were in Boracay, but it didn't really work out. It's a long story. But anyways, now that we're here at the immigration in Bacola, I find it kind of interesting and ironic that we're here extending our visa so that we can stay in the Philippines for even longer. And also, this very same immigration office is probably where like my parents applied to like maybe immigrate to Canada That's or like weird. or like the you know started some sort of process to like move to Canada when I was really really young so mm. it's strange to come almost like full circle maybe you know there's a six-year-old me running around here a long time ago in this same oh, lawn chair <laughs> at this immigration oh. office who was waiting to take a photo so they could put it on his very first passport so that I could get on a plane for the very first time oh. to go to Canada lucky me that all that <laughs> happened <laughs> The other thing that we've learned since coming to Philippines is that because Miku was born here, we actually probably could have got something called uh, Balakbayan visa. Yeah, yeah, we didn't realize Every that this. Everybody in the comments who are Filipino and are gonna tell me about the Balakbayan visa, yeah. I'm sorry, I just figured it out now. Yeah, we, I know. We, we didn't know when we entered the country, so it turns out because Miku was born here, we are, he he and I because we're married could have come here visa free for up to a year. Yeah, but we it's, didn't know that when we entered the country, and you can only get Balakbayan when you enter the country. So we are now here. As we're tourists. we're here on a tourist visa, extending yeah. it and paying hundreds of dollars, but it's okay because <laughs> Philippines here. is worth it. Yeah, Philippines is worth it.
Street, but this is not the downtown Bacola. So we come heading north to go towards Mikuville Stomping Ground. Does anything look more familiar yet? Honestly, everything is just uh, brand new for me. It has been a long time. It has been a long time. I also really feel like we have left tourist Philippines. Yeah, this is not, <laughs> I don't think many tourists come this way. No, I feel like we pick out like sore thumbs. Even Nico sticks out here. I yeah. think this is where he's from. But definitely Nicole sticks out here. <laughs> <laughs> so we've now entered the community that I believe um, where my old house is. I gotta just say, first of all, that I actually don't know that we'll find it. Um, I actually don't know the exact address of my house. I uh, found it when I was a child living in Canada uh, using Google Street View. I saw like the gates and like the house that looks like it's ours. I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't have an exact address. I like sent that via WhatsApp to my mom and she's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the house. He like literally has the coordinates, like the yeah. GPS coordinates. That's what we're going on. Yeah, I just have GPS coordinates of where we should go. <laughs> so far, the community looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These trees are stunning. I feel like we're coming oh. to a dirt road. Where are we supposed to go from here? Straight? All right. Yeah. It's <laughs> the maps, Google Maps says to keep going. <laughs> oh boy. By the way, guys. Um, if there's just like a random floating like microphone, like a floating black thing in any of the scenes today, uh, apologies. We're trying out a new mic. Hopefully, it sounds a little bit better than uh, what you've heard before when we have, whenever we use this camera. Um, but if there's like random like Harry Potter stuff, like just like something's floating, <laughs> that's our new microphone. <laughs> that's the magic of YouTube, everybody. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I can't imagine how much this place would have changed in like 26 years since you lived here. Yeah, it probably is like... Actually, I don't know. I, I honestly don't really different. know what to expect. So the only real way I can identify my house is by literally the fence. The other way I can recognize it is because I remember there was a store beside my house that uh, I used to always uh, buy chips from. And by buy chips, I mean that I would take the chips and tell them that my mom will pay you back. Later. Later. <laughs> you just have like a running tab with the store lady? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, my mom did. I just, <laughs> I, just, I just put it on her. <laughs> you were a kid. That's what you're supposed to do. I think this looks familiar. I think... I think this is it, right here, on the right. On the right? Yeah. It's ah. right here. The gate has changed. The gate has changed. Because it used to be red, right? Yeah. But this, is this the store? This is the store, right? It looks the same? Right. Oh, this, this, that is the store. That you should store go see if, store got two you should stores. go see if you still owe me some so, money. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> Shoot, you guys are going to get out here pretty quick. So this white... This is the fence, or this is like the gate that I remember, but it used to be red. My mom says they like repainted a couple of things and they also like changed the fencing and I think the house is probably completely different, but mm. this is, uh, I think this is it. This Ooh. is the house. How does it feel to that? Oh, there's a cat. cat. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice house, huh? Thank you. What do we do? I mean... I don't know. Do we park the bike and just walk around? Wow, it's crazy to think that I, I, I'm that I used to live here. I'm pretty sure this is it because I remember the left side of the house over there had the roof, um, like it was like separate. It was like a separate roof, like just like it is now. But the thing is, this roof is brand new because it's so much taller. I remember when I was a kid, it was so low I could almost reach it myself. <coughs> so I was thinking that like, you know maybe if the house is the same, I can ask to go see a tour. Uh, oh. From the like the current like owners that would now, be but so like weird. yeah, it'd be so weird. Also, it's completely different, so it's it's not it's not you the same house anymore. You won't have like all these memories flooding back. No, no, they've got uh, they've upped their uh, security system though. Yeah, their security system's intense. We used to just have like a cement wall with like broken glass on top to act as a deterrent. Yeah. Um, but now they actually have like barbed wire. Hello. <laughs> Hi. 
I'm sorry, I don't really remember. Is it Pika Pika Jim? Nicole, it's nice to meet you. I'm Nicole. Yes, yeah. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Nice to meet you. We just came to look oh, for a while. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Still ha no, how to speak. No, 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 very much. We lost so much. We lost so much. We lost so much. We lost so much. We used to be in your house before. Yeah. Okay, so right as we popped out the camera, just so that we could take a better like video of the house, uh, we just suddenly had a swarm of people come up to me. So apparently, a like, lot, lot more people know me than I expected, and that you and that you know now because I mean, yeah, and all these and, yeah, and people just came out and said it's Miko. And it's like, and then they're saying that like, oh, I heard someone speaking English, and like I know like my mom said that like he was coming by to like say hi and stuff and I might be him so uh, see I didn't cool. understand any of that that's cool that that's what happened <laughs> I didn't know so yeah and then Nicole's met them now yeah, too which is so special so what do you like, think I have heard about these people like so for the last 15 years like all of my adult life and then they were really like eyeing you to hunt <laughs> I know that word <laughs> thank you <laughs> really really cool to finally like put a face to a name and like yeah. And I think feel the community, like it's so cool yeah. that you haven't lived here for 25 years and you walk in front of your house and everyone's like, oh, Miko. <laughs> <laughs> if I went back to the place that I was when I was six, I don't think anybody would, oh, anybody man. would remember me. So it's really cool. It that, like, is kind of cool, so yeah. Many of the just... same people are still living here. Truly just like really neat to just yeah. be in what feels like a strange place and be recognized. Yeah. yeah. You know? Aww. Wow. So cool. Even though we came looking for my childhood home, we didn't stay at the house too long. The neighbors extended a warm Filipino reception and took us out to dinner later that night. Despite the fact that it's been 25 years since I lived in the Philippines, we were quickly welcomed back into the community as if no time had passed at all. After sharing laughs, stories, and lots of chicken, we went back to the house where we met more neighbors from my childhood and even played with the next generation of neighborhood kids. In a funny way, we came looking for a single house and in the end, found a community that defined my childhood more than I realized. Before we headed to dinner, there was just one last thing I wanted to show Nicole. All right, so the other place that Miko remembers really well from childhood is a place that they call the Ruins. I think it's actually called the Ruins. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually a tourist attraction here in Makola. Yeah. And uh, I didn't realize, but I live like only minutes away from it. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you always knew. You just didn't really realize it was a tourist attraction. Yeah, that's true. I thought it was just a bunch of ruins. <laughs> the playground for children in the community. That's that's the ruins? Yeah. Holy smokes. This is like a castle. Wow. Okay, when you said ruins, I pictured like ruins like like in <laughs> Scotland or something not like a castle <laughs> you played on this as a kid <laughs> yeah I remember yeah uh, you know what actually uh, it's actually a lot bigger than I remember <laughs> I remember just like <laughs> jumping on rocks and parts of the ruins but this is actually a lot more well built than it's like a palace. <laughs> it's like a real it's like a real standing thing <laughs> I feel like you undersold this to me all these years. I, I think uh, yeah I think my memory's a little fuzzy guys <laughs> it's so, pretty wait, cool how did you come here we had to pay to get in here I don't know. Probably <laughs> snuck in or something like that. Okay, I learned a bit more about the ruins. So, this is kind of neat. It was built in the early 1900s by a very wealthy um, farmer. They had like sugarcane fields, which is really popular here. There's lots of farming of sugarcane. So this man was really wealthy. Him and his family built this mansion. It was their home. Then, during World War II, the Axis actually burnt it down so that Filipinos couldn't use it as like a military base to operate at it. So they actually burnt it for three full days. The intention was to burn it to the ground, but it actually held up pretty well. Like we've got these ruins now. And I think it's super cool. The ruins are actually in the private ownership of like the great, great grandchild of the original sugarcane businessman who bought this place and built it. How cool. Nothing there about some hoodlum neighborhood kids burning it down. <laughs> as the story goes. <laughs> That's what Wikipedia says. Did you change Wikipedia? <laughs> Could have been me, I didn't even know about it. That's why we escaped to Canada. <laughs> well, it took us 15 years, but thank you so much for finally bringing me here. I got her here, everybody. I'm everybody so said that Nicole hasn't been in the Philippines. What's going on, Miko? <laughs> She's finally here. Finally here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>